Rugby Union, or simply rugby, is a contact team sport which originated in England in the first half of the 19th century. One of the two codes of rugby football, it is based on running with the ball in hand. In its most common form, a game is between two teams of 15 players using an oval-shaped ball on a rectangular field with H-shaped goalposts on each try line. In 1845, the first football laws were written by rugby school pupils. Other significant events in the early development of rugby include the Blackheath Club's decision to leave the Football Association in 1863 and the split between Rugby Union and Rugby League in 1895. Historically an amateur sport, in 1995 restrictions on payments to players were removed making the game openly professional at the highest level for the first time. World Rugby, originally the International Rugby Football Board and from 1998 to 2014 the International Rugby Board, has been the governing body for rugby union since 1886. Rugby union spread from the home nations of Great Britain and Ireland, and was absorbed by many of the countries associated with the British Empire. Early exponents of the sport included Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and France. Countries that have adopted rugby union as their de facto national sport include Fiji, Georgia, Madagascar, New Zealand, Samoa, Tonga and Wales. Rugby union is played in over 100 countries across six continents. There are 101 full members and 18 associate members of World Rugby. The Rugby World Cup, first held in 1987, takes place every four years with the winner of the tournament receiving the Webb Ellis Cup, the Six Nations Championship in Europe and the Rugby Championship in the Southern Hemisphere are major annual competitions. Major domestic competitions include the English Premiership in England, Top 14 in France, the ITM Cup in New Zealand and the Curry Cup in South Africa. Other transnational competitions include the Pro 12, involving Irish, Italian, Scottish and Welsh teams, the European Rugby Champions Cup, involving the top European teams from their respective domestic competitions, and Super Rugby, involving Australian, New Zealand and South African teams and set to our teams in Argentina and Japan in 2016. History the origin of rugby football is reputed to be an incident during a game of English school football at rugby school in 1823, when William Webb Ellis is said to have picked up the ball and run with it. Although the evidence for the story is doubtful, it was immortalized at the school with a plaque unveiled in 1895. Despite the doubtful evidence, the Rugby World Cup trophy is named after Webb Ellis. Rugby football stems from the form of game played at rugby school, which former pupils then introduced to their university. Old rugby and Albert Pell, a student at Cambridge, is credited with having formed the first football team. During this early period different schools used different rules, with former pupils from rugby and Eton attempting to carry their preferred rules through to their universities. A significant event in the early development of rugby football was the production of the first written laws of the game at rugby school in 1845, which was followed by the Cambridge Rules drawn up in 1848. Other important events include the Blackheath Club's decision to leave the Football Association in 1863 and the formation of the Rugby Football Union. In 1871, the code was originally known as rugby football. It was not until after the schism in England in 1895, which resulted in the separate code of rugby league, that the sport took on the name rugby union to differentiate it from the league game. Despite the sport's full name of rugby union, it is known simply as rugby throughout most of the world. The first rugby football international was played on 27 March 1871 between England and Scotland. 
By 1881 both Ireland and Wales had representative teams, and in 1883 the first international competition, the Home Nations Championship, had begun. 1883 is also the year of the first Rugby Sevens tournament, the Melrose Sevens, which is still held annually. Five years later two important overseas tours took place. A British Isles team visited Australia and New Zealand, although a private venture. It laid the foundations for future British and Irish Lions tours, and the 1888-89 New Zealand native football team brought the first overseas team to British spectators. Between 1905 and 1908, all three major Southern Hemisphere rugby countries sent their first touring teams to the Northern Hemisphere, New Zealand in 1905, followed by South Africa in 1906 and Australia in 1908. All three teams brought new styles of play, fitness levels and tactics, and were far more successful than critics had expected. The New Zealand 1905 touring team performed a hacker before each match, leading Welsh Rugby Union administrator Tom Williams to suggest that Wales player Teddy Morgan lead the crowd in singing the Welsh national anthem, Hen WLADF Wine Adore, as a response. After Morgan began singing, the crowd joined in. The first time a national anthem was sung at the start of a sporting event. In 1905 France played England in its first international match. No international rugby games and union-sponsored club matches were played during the First World War, but competitions continued through service teams such as the New Zealand Army team. During the Second World War no international matches were played by most countries, though Italy, Germany and Romania played a limited number of games, and Cambridge in Oxford continued their annual university match. Rugby Union was included as an event in the Olympic Games four times during the early 20th century. In 1973 the first officially sanctioned International Sevens tournament took place at Murrayfield, one of Scotland's biggest stadiums, as a part of the Scottish Rugby Union centenary celebrations. In 1987 the first Rugby World Cup was held in Australia and New Zealand, and the inaugural winners were New Zealand. The first World Cup Sevens tournament was held at Murrayfield in 1993. Rugby Sevens was introduced into the Commonwealth Games in 1998 and has been added to the Olympic Games of 2016. Rugby Union was an amateur sport until the IRB declared the game open in 1995, removing restrictions on payments to players. However, the pre-1995 period of rugby union was marked by frequent accusations of shamateurism, including an investigation in Britain by a House of Commons Select Committee. Following the introduction of professionalism transnational club competitions were started, with the Heineken Cup in the Northern Hemisphere and Super Rugby in the Southern Hemisphere. The Tri-Nations, an annual international tournament involving Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, kicked off in 1996. In 2012, this competition was extended to include Argentina, a country whose impressive performances in international games was deemed to merit inclusion in the competition. As a result of the expansion to four teams, the tournament was renamed the Rugby Championship. Teams and Positions Each team starts the match with 15 players on the field and seven or eight substitutes. Players in a team are divided into eight forwards and seven backs. Forwards The main responsibilities of the forward players are to gain and retain possession of the ball. Players in these positions are generally bigger and stronger and take part in the scrum and line-out. The forwards are often collectively referred to as the pack, especially when in the scrum formation. Front row The front row consists of three players, two props and the hooker. The role of the two props is to support the hooker during scrums, to provide support for the jumpers during lineouts and to provide strength and power in rucks and walls. The third position in the front row is the hooker. The hooker is a key position in attacking and defensive play and is responsible for winning the ball in the scrum. Hookers normally throw the ball in at lineouts. 
Second row The second row consists of two locks or lock forwards. Locks are usually the tallest players in the team, and specialize as line-out jumpers. The main role of the lock in line-outs is to make a standing jump, often supported by the other forwards, to either collect the thrown ball or ensure the ball comes down on their side. Locks also have an important role in the scrum, binding directly behind the three front row players and providing forward drive. Back row The back row, not to be confused with backs, is the third and final row of the forward positions. They are often referred to as the loose forwards. The three positions in the back row are the two flankers and the number eight. The two flanker positions, called the blind side flanker and open side flanker, are the final row in the scrum. They are usually the most mobile forwards in the game. Their main role is to win possession through turnovers. The number eight packs down between the two locks at the back of the scrum. The role of the number eight in the scrum is to control the ball after it has been healed back from the front of the pack and the position provides a link between the forwards and backs during attacking phases. Backs The backs role is to create and convert point scoring opportunities. They are generally smaller, faster and more agile than the forwards. Another distinction between the backs and the forwards is that the backs are expected to have superior kicking skills especially the fly half and full back. Half backs The half backs consist of two positions, the scrum half and the fly half. The fly half is crucial to a team's game plan, orchestrating the team's performance. They are usually the first to receive the ball from the scrum half following a breakdown, line out, or scrum, and need to be decisive with what actions to take and be effective at communicating with the outside backs. Many fly halves are also their team's goal kickers. The scrum half is the link between the forwards and the backs. They receive the ball from the line out and remove the ball from the back of the scrum, usually passing it to the fly half. They also feed the scrum and sometimes have to act as a fourth loose forward. Three quarters There are four three-quarter positions, the inside center, outside center and left and right wings. The centers will attempt to tackle attacking players, whilst in attack they should employ speed and strength to breach opposition defenses. The wings are generally positioned on the outside of the back line. Their primary function is to finish off moves and score tries. Wings are usually the fastest players in the team and are elusive runners who use their speed to avoid tackles. Fullbacks The fullback normally positions himself several meters behind the back line. He fields any opposition kicks and is often the last line of defense should an opponent break through the back line. Two of the most important attributes of a good fullback are dependable catching skills and a good kicking game.